I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. It's Saturday and that means it's time for a bit of Saturday snap. I made kind of this weird odd deck that I have no idea if it's good, bad, or ugly. I'm calling it the Your Doom deck. It's got Iceman, it's got Scorpion, it's got Green Goblin, with, uh, Steak, Storm, Sandman, Long, Moon Girl, Hobgoblin, Arrow, Doctor Doom, and Odin. Whole trick of this is that you're supposed to play like Long on four, and then Mystique on five, and then Doom on six, and just flood the other two sides of the board with the double Doom box. And to, to really lock up their boards with the Green Goblin so that they don't go that way, and to use Sandman to kind of lock out the board. And Storm maybe to lock up one of the other locations because you can use, uh, you know, uh, Doombots and flooded locations. The Odin might not have a spawn here. We might change out the Odin. Uh, let me look at this real quick. There's really nothing for Odin to trigger on this. Let me remove the Odin real quick. Really nothing for Odin to trigger. Uh, there's just a way to kind of like mess with lanes. That's why it just seems so cheese. Uh, ooh, marble is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I do we have this on a veil? Because it was because we're on a veil. Polaris isn't bad. Beach doesn't do much for us. It so that we can play Dr. Doom. I would actually have Dr. Doom uh, to 
have some bots on his own with some real power. I don't think he by himself has anything. I think he's a zero by himself. It doesn't make him a two by himself, so it's not bad. With the one and the mistake combo, that make him a four six, so that's not bad. If I'm doing my friend. Okay, we'll try this out. I've never played this before. I have no idea if this is good or not. Okay, start out normally with the Iceman to kind of walk out some more stuff. Savage Lance doesn't help me at all. Like, okay, we'll use the cloak to move over some of the Savage Man stuff. They didn't grab Hobgoblin. I'm not sure why they put cloak on the same spot as Human Torch, but that's fine. Okay, so now... I'll play down long. In the center location? Yeah, that'll be fine. Runs. I don't think Doom by himself gets anything. Makes that a first king and it puts 15, 20 in each location. Ouch, that's a painful move. You can get that all the work. You don't really need any other part of this, do you? Death domain, we can put Iceman over there, we don't care. Yandu, Yandu grabs our wall, okay. I'll still freeze some of this stuff. Sorry, um, uh, no ongoing effects, right? This is not real. Hmm, I think we skip here. Let's see what happens when we skip. They're all that of the real ones of us. Okay, we can arrows. Next turn. There is 
get something out of the way for us. We can walk down with Sandman. Sandman is not good for a lot of people. Sandman takes care of death. Let's... Set up for... Rims over here. I should have put it over here. That would have worked. So we're playing Hobgoblin here. Hobgoblin should eat up this. Doom had anything on his own. The space throne? Interesting. I can get my three drop if I want a space throne. Let's start with the scorpion here. Project Pegasus, that's fine. We'll just we'll do hop that one over here. And we'll do forge over here. I'm sure Simon works here. I might pull him in a little bit. I get why I put him in here in the original place. But he also has some problems with my deck and how I want to store. Okay, they're floating out of the car. We'll do Moon Girl here. Is that enough turns? Oh, maybe not. I'm playing a long time. So does Moon Girl make sense is the question. I play her on four normally, which is when she would be. I can play it no, I don't have enough time to play double one. I will play Doom here. Okay. So Moon Girl really doesn't make sense here. And I don't think Sam has done us any favors. So we might replace Moon Girl with Sandman on this. They can't develop the wall anyways, which is the whole idea that I'm like Sam has put in here. I 
I'm winning this spot. I'm putting 10 over here, and another, so that's going to be 18 in this slot, which you can't put anything in. I can snap. So the little really doesn't help me out. I'm gonna retreat it, that's fine. The sand wind doesn't really help me out, okay. Won't be better than Lunar or Sand Wind. Let's do... Back to the fourth channel. I think I have... Another one from Wakanda. So let's get rid of Moon Girl. I don't know why she's in here. And let's get rid of Sandman. I thought she would work well with Wong, but for, I forget that Wong's too expensive for her Moon Girl. Sandman's just not doing us any favors. Let's put her in. She'll help with, with not things. What else would be a good last card for this? I might just go cheesy. American Chavez seems like a good trick to just grab a five card, uh, a long card deck instead of a twelve card. An American Chavez, what else seems good? I somehow just Agent Thirteen. Yeah, let's add her really quick. Like. She'll give me a maybe a different out that I can use next time twice. Sometimes I might just switch in whatever Agent 13 is doing for me. Oh, let's, let's start with the obvious Iceman. That's going back, that's fine. Let's do the uh, Spider Man point. Let's do Green Goblin. Let's do one over here. Okay, I brought our doctor down, which did hurt us in any way to perform. Uh, we gotta skip the way here. We basically won. Bucky's fine. I don't even care if he kills the green goblin. Mystique goes in. The used partner should be killed the green goblin. That's fine. Snap. I'll use the forge here. The forge better than two and two. Nah, it's basically just a backup for the forge. How far it comes far with me, I don't care. Now we'll finish off this game, and this should win us the entire board. If I did my math right, let's put 20 in the left spot and 15 in the right spot. I'm mean, gonna lose in the middle for sure. But now. 
before I just put the other can on down. It's 20 on the Nexus. Nexus gives me additional 20 for everything. The scary little combo. that up a bit. Wolverine, okay. Let's start to try to walk up the mirror dimension. If I put the hobgoblin here, it should make him not want to go to mirror dimension. Get over to Shadowlands, okay. Let's walk the Shadowlands. Um, one doesn't hurt us, but doesn't help us a lot. Do I have a backup plan for this? There's Carnage, which is a problem. I'm not sure this is the backup plan. Let's put all that one over here. Should I put it over with the car and check me? I'm just gonna retreat. I don't think I have this. Escaped. Yeah. There are better move for arrows. Is arrows doing anything for me? Six. And I don't think Eris is doing me any good. And I can use that with the wall as kind of like a backup. I thought it would be alright. Yeah. If you can play that on four, play this on play this on five. After after a mistake and play this on five. That's not bad. Don't hate that. <laughs> okay, bar sinister. Let's freeze up their hand a little bit. Central Park, okay. Agent 13.
combination, okay? Let's do one. Space thrown, okay, I can snap on this one. We get to go straight to three. Let's take over the space throne real quick. Here and see what that guy that would subtract. Eight from that. Hang on. Oh, we can send the Doom Boss. That'll add to the flooded, because Doom Boss can go into flooded areas. Really oh, not winning the number, I don't care. I don't win it. Too 
sword up there. Basically, gonna put Hobgoblin in the middle in a second here. What's this trap? No, I think it's Hobgoblin, right? Murder Hall, that's nine. Let's snap on that thing. That'll kill their sunspot. I don't think they have a way to move their sunspot over. Or some spot. Uh, let's do storm over here on the floor. If we do get the uh, Doctor Doom in the end. This one over in Marble World. It's really negative to play for that. Okay, we didn't get anything good for last turn. We can play Forge. And then we can play a Scorpion. And then we can play Baron to like really try to lo lock up this location. I think it might have been no because I'm not gonna mess with the negative zone. We still won. Because of the murder world. The murder world really took that over for us. I won by more than 10 on, on murder world because they tied this back with American Chavez. Let's see if we can get off at Agent 13. Yeah, I do burn off. I uh, burn that's nothing to us. Moon Knight's not the greatest for Agent 13. Let's do a Scorpion and annoy them some more. Okay. I'm in 
from there, apparently. Kill playing the mystique on the lawn. Sinister Lab again, okay. We can play for Johnson Sinister Lab, that's fine. Oh, am I trying to play Sinister Lab before you Shuffle. Lockjaw. Grab my Mystique, that's fine. Okay, how does Ford work with the Green Goblin? Let me see how this works. I'm probably gonna concede us on this one. I just wanna see how Forge works with Green Goblin. We're definitely retreating on this one. I just wanna see how Forge works with Green Goblin. Does it get the pump? It gets the pump, okay. Good enough. Avoid Agent 13 for right now. I got two out of the three parts of, of the one in the combo. I pick, it depends on what the middle and the right left are. Right are, sorry. Dyslexia sometimes. Right side is right side. Yondu, Yondu guys, what they don't care about. Middle is super full. Okay, super full doesn't hurt any of us. And so far we're doing okay with nothing bad happening so far. Cable. Okay, as long as they didn't grab my dock, we're fine. We can play a green goblin over an X match and let's see if that does anything good for us. Carnage, they can't have any scrolls. Green goblin will make the X match and basically hard to take over. Mr. Negative, which I'm not sure is good or bad for the deck. Red Skull. Let's put down one. Waiting 
for them to do anything. I think they might retreat here. Let's snap and see if we can get them to retreat. Get Doc to show up. And for this guy not to take five hours to play a match. I'm gonna take the grab one. And this means nothing to me. Or you can find a central function. Nothing on the final turn though. <sighs> Maybe I can play the hub of that one over here. And agent 13 over here, but that's not really what I want to do. Let's see what that looks like when I do it. this over here. Oh, he does. Okay. Left on the wall. Thank you. 
destroy the camera. That pole cave is going to destroy that. Okay, so we'll play Aaron over here. I'm not sure why you're running. Let me play down Kazar. Let me play down Mystique. We'll do Forge over here. Mystique will take Kazar's effect. Okay. And we'll play Agent 13 and Scorpion just cause Agent 13 will get my Kazar buffed. Do I know? 
off. Let's just put that doctor down now. Somebody else with us. Can get most of our stuff already. Okay, that are double. So let's start with a million one real quick. in their hand that cost six. I don't know what I need. But you didn't seem to do anything for me. Yes, man. I'm 
put them on. How did this happen? Four shot, twenty five percent chance to win this. That does not run it for me. I mean, I can do this, but that's like my best move. this down, I can always get the Doctor Doom to be a little bit heavier. Interesting. Okay, they don't fill us on this turn. We'll flood that.
can't turn six more pounds. This X is not a friend of mine. So I'm gonna retreat. I don't feel like I'm gonna disregard right now. Escaped. Okay, let's see how all well this stuff really works. And this X is not helpful with that. I got one and I got four and I got Dr. Doom. The only thing that I'm missing is Mystique. So I'm gonna go on the raft on turn three. Grand Central. Let's put out the rest. I don't want to name it. Aid my hand. It should be fine. Long. Now we're gonna play Mystique and Forge. I hope to catch either Doctor Doom or my Tiger off of this. You could have done Dr. Doom or White Tiger and I would have been happy. Locations that suck for me, okay? Escaped. It's like the eighth time I've seen Savage when I'm sure. Yeah, my forge, that's fine. <laughs> I need to get one. Okay. 
still play Ice Man though. Doom. This has got to be Doctor Doom one. What else? Mike Mora. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to swallow this crap for a goblin. Hey, tomorrow, let's put the green goblin back on your side. Term. That's actually perfect for me. Looks so like means nothing to me. Four parts of it. Sheesh. Every time I get part of it, you give me some location that like wrecks me. today, that's fine. Escaped. But you don't have to be this obvious about it, 
Okay. I can play Storm on Waterfalls, that's fine. Why Frost? I got one of the parts of it. So my one, my, no one of those, one, my mystique, I have a mystique. There's the four. Once I get mystique, I don't really have I have only have one five.
And it's Dr. Doom in the last card again. That's fine, you can swap locations all day, that doesn't mean it's okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can step back. <sighs> the only location that I know will bump, bump, bump on the other will be here. Everything will shift. Mystique and Long. Well, it's not going bad. It's just that sometimes this deck goes, runs really weird. Here, you'll see how this deck works in a second. Dr. Doom comes out and he puts in four Doom bots. Basically the whole idea is that Dr. Doom comes out and he brings in these four Doom boxes. This combination, he brings in uh, 20 to each other location, which is hard to beat. And if you get this, he's like 13 on his own, which means the spot that you're playing on basically becomes like 16. It's hard to get it to work though. A lot of inconsistencies in it. I don't know a better way to make it work though. I have a few redundancies in here, but not a lot. Like even this card hurts me a lot. You know, the locations and stuff like that. The Dark Dimension's gonna mess up my five drops. But if you can get all the parts of it, you're not doing bad. But you basically know by the third location whether you should cut and run or, or stick with it. You can basically make somebody think that you're basically doing nothing. Yeah, I have, I've, just, I've, got, uh, I've got the Green Goblin. The problem is with the Hobgoblin, is the Hobgoblin is basically taking up my 5 slot. 
which makes it a little hard to play. So when you're because if Hop Goblin was like a little bit cheaper, but I am playing the Green Goblin, but like right now I haven't gotten like any of my things, so I'm just gonna retreat. I lost a cube there. You're, you're basically playing for like eight cube swing backs. Tom Goblin isn't here, so you can play him on three because he's got the worst three drop. I also play Storm. Kind of mit mitigate some of the worst storm locations. But here's basically all of it, you know, four. Uh, five and six, so I can basically sit here and do nothing. So it's gonna look like I'm losing this entire game. He played uh, Daredevil on Superflow. Okay, so I'm not gonna put some rocks in my deck, that's fine. I got most of it. I'm just gonna put Sunspot over there. I'm gonna snap because this is most likely a bot. Surrey's Lab. Okay, Surrey's Lab is actually better for me. So we're going to play long over on Surrey's Lab. And we're going to play Mystique after long. Not because I got super full for the one time in my life. We're going to on turn five. Actually, we got the hobgoblin, so what we're going to do is put the hobgoblin over here since the hobgoblin doesn't affect us. Let's let that move a little bit. You can see it with Daredevil, I don't care. Maybe Cerebro make your five sevens? Uh, that could be interesting. I'm not sure if I have sorry about that. I'll have to look at it. See, it pulls in all 20 of them. At least if I have sorry about that, that's not a bad idea. I don't have every single card, that's part of the issue. I might have to worry about. No, I don't have to worry about. I go straight from Bucky Barnes to Cable. I'm missing to about right now. It's not a bad idea though. I'm gonna throw it in when I get them down the road. I mean, right now the deck's running uh, Agent 13, which, you know, and Iceman, which I might throw these two out of here. They're not doing a lot. But I have really nothing better to like, take out for some of these cards. I really don't have a backup plan for this. I guess I can make a backup plan on this by just taking out Agent 13, Iceman, and Scorpion, and just putting in Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, No, not about the horror, and I still can't do this correctly. And, um, I'll be that one. Uh, 
So I can get more consistency on locations. The double dinosaur, but it's not in the correct location to really help us out here. We'll play Hobgoblin over here. Ah, they left it up with Kazar. Okay, we'll play the five over here for double dinosaur. Basically everything we need here, okay? And we can snap straight off the bat. Assuming that the middle and right locations don't make us cry, we should be fine. That's fine, you can you can mess with this default, right? Okay? Mana do green got one over here. That's fine, you can put the other one there. And then we'll play Mystique down. Win 
That's fine. Put the porridge down. Leave everything else empty. Make sure it's snapped. Give this an okay. Okay. Really? Professor X? Wow. There's no reason this deck should have been run to Professor X or whatever. This made no sense to run to Professor X. There was no reason that that could have ran Professor X. That made no sense to run in that deck. That's what I hate when they win like that, when they have a card that makes no sense to run in their deck and they're just running it. Why would you play a Professor X in a deck where you're playing Infinite? I mean, yeah, you're playing Jubilee in there, and I guess you're trying to do that with Jubilee, but even off Jubilee, it's not that great of a move. We'll go here. We'll start some of the backup. Since I since they have to play here on five anyways. I'm more actually give me a good tag on this. Move over, okay. That means they're going for diable dinosaur. That'll add five to both locations. They're not playing Devil Dinosaur here if they're smart. They either put it here or here. They play it here, I win both locations anyways. They play it here, I win here and here. They play it here, I win here and here. I think I'm good. Leader. And you get to do bots off it too? That's not weird. That's just weird. I can see you getting the car off it, but not the doom bots. Okay, I got rocks this time. Let's do this over here. It's fine. I'm just gonna mess it up. That was the wrong card. Escape.
Yeah, that's fine. You're in a match. Space throne. I get to one of them. I didn't get anything. When it works, it works, but it's hard to get it to work. That's fine. This will be the last one for this. I'm like, I'm not liking how this is running. It's so I get the mistake will snap. I don't know what it is. It's so feast of famine. Okay, that's a very big bird. But let's catch that down. Um, we didn't catch anything on that, okay. We'll play the forge. Which means that Mystique is in the last four cards of our deck again. So this is definitely going to be the last uh, match for us. I don't hate it, but it is a lot if you got to get everything in the right order. Let's play Dr. Jones last turn. Finish this off. And as always, remember, play for one.